What's going on, you grunts of the team of the Eclipses? I am your admin slash executive, uh, the Dark Gengar. God damn it, phone! Shit, I did not come prepared for this thing. But anyways, um, I am your executive admin on this channel, and most of you may not know me, seeing as I did not attend to the introduction video. And, um, that's also why I decided to make this. This is also what, uh, something I'm gonna be doing for you guys. I'm gonna be making, uh, the videos about the battle strategies. I know my intros are fucking shit, but screw it. So, anyways, I'm here on Pokemon Showdown, and I'm gonna teach you my standards of building a team. So... Basically, we're gonna build a team the OU tier as it's like you have access to basically anything around here and First thing you want to do is you want to base yourself around a Pokemon as um, If you don't have any sort of base Like what are you gonna build around and? For this video seeing as it is my first one. I'm just gonna build a team around my mascot Gengar I always run a Focus Sash Gengars just because I want to be able to take that extra hit, but Choice Specs or Choice Scarf is d definitely an alternative option. As for my Gengars, I run Shadow Ball for Stab. On Competitive, if you battle me in Auras, I'll run Sludge Bomb, but on Showdown, I run Sludge Wave for more damage. Not Sludge, but Sludge Wave. Damn it! So this will be the base. You have Sludge Wave and then we need some coverage. Seeing as Gengar is weak to Psychic, Ghost, and Dark as like the main weaknesses. Of course I have more weaknesses, but you know, taking down, having a great advantage uh, with, for example, Dazzling Gleam is an incredibly good feature as it takes down the Dark types. And Shadow Ball is of course super effective on its weak, uh, weak side for, um, for Psychic types. Now, there's one weakness we've yet to cover, or, well, technically we do that too with the same stab attack, but that's Ghost. And, also, we could also, anyways, run uh, Focus Blast for that, or for Dark types as it is super effective, but, you know, we want that young, we want that accuracy, we want to hit shit. So, um... Usually I run Substitute, if it's safe to go for the Substitute, I run Substitute, as it is the safest bet, and I go max speed, max special attack with, uh, I usually run 4 HP, and I'm actually going to change that, as 4 HP will be the prominent thing to change here. As for that, we can change nicknames and stuff, that's all up to your own opinion, of course it's going to be female in my book, and I name my Gengar's Mitzi. Because I think that is a beautiful nickname, and shiny or not shiny, as you can see, there is a difference. But you know, I, I like both, so there's that. So we have Metsy now, and it definitely covers its own weaknesses, but that does not mean that it need that it can't take help in any sort of way. So seeing our weaknesses, we can have something that Gengar can support uh, with its moves. A fairy type could be very convenient to add up with it. And there are multiple uh, fairy types that you can run. You can run Gardevoir. You can run like you can run Mega Gardevoir. You can have uh, Azumarill, uh, either Assault Vested or you can run Citrus Berry. But uh, for this one, I think I'm actually gonna run with Sylveon, as I really like using Sylveon. It's definitely one great. Pixelate is a uh, prominent thing. This thing is so feminine that it needs to be a female. And I prefer the shiny one actually. Blue is so much prettier than the pink. And I just like the pr I like the pretty stuff. Okay, don't blame me. I like pretty stuff. Okay, so for this Sylveon, I want to build this uh, with um, Psy Shock is really a good move. We want Hyper Voice. Hyper Beam is if you want to go all out as like a final. Um, what, what should I call it? an all-out final gambit I guess that's the easiest way to explain it you can also run most evolutions run this but uh, we need to find something that works for us against Sylveon's weaknesses and Sylveon's weaknesses uh, we have covered one with Psyshock but 
a feral thorns are definitely a huge threat for us still so hidden power fire is a really good thing for Sylveon seeing as it can help out in a great way uh, also for our final move we can run any kind of we can run screens we can run protect for leftovers recovery or we can run wish which I'm gonna run with special attack uh, and HP I like to run offensive Pokemon more but of course they can still be defensive but it's just my uh, preference as now we have a fairy and a ghost poison type and I want to support a little bit here and I know the perfect Pokemon that can help around here uh, we can have ourselves is it Yu Magnezone I really like using Magnezone and for my Magnezones I run choice specs but also air balloon is uh, definitely something you can do but all you can choose magnet pull or sturdy and for this set seeing as I don't have the air balloon I want to run sturdy um, and with that I'm gonna have uh, where is it we're gonna have volt switch on you because we want that um, switch initiative we want flash cannon as another stab move not flash I click cannon damn we want Hidden Power Fire for those pesky little sneaky steel types that you think you can trap, which is obviously something that is really useful. And you can run a variety of different moves here, but for me, I'd like to run Try Attack on this, as it hits most types uh, neutrally. And we have our main offense against the ground types with Flash Cannon, and we have chances for hacks here. Now, there's only one name for Magnezone after Mystic Umbreon as I made a Sylveon so I'm gonna make this for Mystic as well this is Officer Orgy you gotta go watch um what is it Pokemon Mystery Dungeon from Mystic's channel and you'll understand it instantly you just gotta watch the series and you'll understand what I mean um, now that we have ourselves, we have a pretty interesting type, but now we want ourselves a Mega Evolution. That is, uh, that would come in handy for our team. But what Mega Evolution should we run? I like Mega Gallade a lot. I like Mega Gardevoir a lot. But for this team, I want to run Mega Lopini. Yes, I would run Mega Lopini for this. Zelda, if you watch this, you're welcome. Uh, we're just gonna have a, uh, let's see, Limber is a great ability here because they will try to T-Wave you as you are incredibly speedy from the get-go and getting that, uh, immunity to, immunity to paralysis when you switch in is really useful for you. So, what do we run on Lopini? I want to run, uh, Drain Punch for recovery. I want to run, I want to run some stab on the normal side as well seeing as I can hit anything fake out is great for our mega evolution let's see what other moves can we get uh, normal Ooh, that, that, that could be fun but this is dizzy punch yes that's what we want to run we can run dizzy punch and finally for um, let's see what would your weaknesses be now it would be psychic and it will be fighting and it will be flying so to cover flying we'll go with ice punch and that is our Lopini uh, definitely a nice ass to the team female again I mean this team is just for females girls galore now that we have ourselves some offense we need ourselves some defense and one of the best physical walls in OU Ferrothorn of course, no. You know what? I want to be a I want to be a douche uh, to Chespin. I'm sorry, Chespin, but I got to do this. This is also a great another physical wall. Of course, Gliscor's run two sets. It's the Hyper Cutter one with Defog, or it's the Poison Heal with uh, freaking Substitute. So we have Substitute, uh, Protect. We have Fling to throw over that Toxic Orb. Just uh, toxic our opponents. And finally, we can run acrobatics. 
And if you're asking yourself, why aren't you using, why aren't you using the um, earthquakes? Because I don't need it. This is a stall class score, not an offensive one. And acrobatics' base power is higher than earthquakes, seeing as when you drop your item, you fling it, you don't have it anymore. And acrobatics will then have a base power of 110 plus stab. It's a more useful move. I'm gonna name it Chess. I'm gonna name it Juan. Juan. And you are gonna be male. You're the alpha of this team. Now we have ourselves a pretty solid team. No specific common weaknesses except for Psychic and Gengar and Lopany. But they both cover their psychic weaknesses, so now we can always br we can bring in I don't know maybe bring something with um, some hazards because some hazards would be very very nice. And for that, oh wait no, when I think about it, we should have a special wall. And for our special wall, we can run. Let's see, I know of a, I know of some good special walls, but they're not up here. We could run Togekiss, we could run uh, Victini, because they have base 100 across the field, we could run Jirachi, we could run the Pixies, because they have 100 across the field, but that's not what we want to do, that's too easy. So for our special wall, I'm thinking we should run something like, um, let's see, where is it? I don't want to run Blissey, because that's way too annoying. Chandelure is frail. Dawn Fence of Physical Wall. Florges, we already kind of have that typing. Which, yes, there we have it. Gudra. We're going to run my Assault Vested Gudra. It's going to have Sap Sipper. And this Gudra runs Dragon Pulse instead of Draco because we don't want to drop that special attack. I run Fire Blast for that chance of burn. 10% chance, but of course it's still massive damage. Next up on the list, I run uh, Ice Beam. Not, I run Ice Beam. Yes, I run Ice Beam because it's really useful for both flying types and ground types and grass types, even though I can take any grass type move I want. And it's a great counter to Breloom's you know, with their spores and their uh, leech seeds. And finally, uh, for our last move on Gudra, I run Sludge Bomb just to counter the fairy types. And this is how I build my teams. And of course, you can go out and build however you want to build your team yourself. This is just a suggestion. I'll leave this um I'll leave this in the description for you to take this team and try it out or try to Pokegen it yourself and use it. And you'll see if you like it or not. Uh, but for this uh, special occasion, I will hop into an OU match and I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, I found my opponent. This is Toad Test. I just took a random battle on Showdown in an OU match. And his team consists of a lot of a Fish Sharp, and probably Mega Slowbro, a Ferrothorn, uh, a Landorus T, and an Alakazam. So seeing that, I... And what is sort of lead? He has a really huge. Um, I see uh, fighting weakness. I see ghost weakness. Wow, that like ghost weakness is massive. Great lead on my end. Great lead for me on my side. That it, that could not have gone any better. He switched out to Bisharp. That is an obvious play. It's could not have become more obvious. He's gonna go for Sucker Punch, gonna take me down to my Sash. I'm gonna go for that clean, clean Dazzling Gleam. I don't know if he's gonna predict the switch or not, uh, but with it, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go into Officer Orgy. Uh, I can believe that he's gonna stay trapped in. He went for knockoff, taking off my choice backs, which helped me out a lot. He goes for the, wow, the kill, wow, the crit matter, crit matter. I'm just gonna go into my Lopany then, as I have no reason not to. He's gonna switch into a Slowbro, his physically defensive wall. I'm gonna go into my Gudra, because I do not want to deal with this Slowbro, as it is just gonna be a huge pain in the half. And Gudra's just gonna be like, mmm, give me all that, mmm, scrumptious, delicious, and delicious. I'm gonna go for the Deepals, I'm sorry that you guys know me. I probably won't even show this part right here, that's cut. 
It's not a mix slow, bro. Yeah, you guys see like the top and shit. This looks ugly. I'm gonna remove that when I edit. Go for that another second dragon pulse. The dragon pulse is putting in nothing but the finest of work. Oh please, please do, please do, yes, 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 go into the ferroton, yes, yes, ferroton, yes. Bam! And down goes the ferroton. This is why especially defensive Gudra is so well. It checks slow, bro. So well, let's run the side shot. Uh, this Bisher, we all know that you just wanna be physical little prick. And hit me with the sucker punches, knockoffs and sucker punches and all that shit. Unfortunately, I don't get my, um... Unfortunately, I don't get my Toxic Orb activated. And he's gonna switch into his slow bro. I'm gonna go for my acrobatics. He's physically defensive, so I do not want to stay in on that. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go into my Sylveon. And I'm gonna go for Hyper Voice. Uh, here it's a pretty, it's a pretty good play on his team. The there's nothing that takes that thing uh, resisted, so he can send out a Landorus Therian. Oh, look at that damage! Look at the damage! Ah, oh, Sylveon, you're such a monster! You just hit him so hard. Jeez, Pixelate is too OP. Shit. <coughs> mm, I'm gonna assume. There's nothing to assume. This determines it all if he's Scarf, because he, if he's Scarf, he's going to switch, and if he's going to switch, he's probably going to go into... Anything is going to die, or just be sure I'm dead on income. Yeah, he just sacks off it. Yeah, that's definitely confirmed to be Scarf Land OT. Now that we know that, uh, Alakazam, we do not want to stay on. Nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, not happening. Nope, no, nope, you can forget. Never mind, nope, not happening. You can just forget about it. I'm not having it. Nope, I'm not having it. I'm just not having a Mega Alakazam coming in here again, dropping that, uh, spitting that fire on the mixtape. No. No, Alakazam. I deny you to do that. You hear me? You don't get to spit fire on the mixtape. I do not agree. Ra actually, I disagree. Mega Alakazam is right here. And you don't get to kill my Gengar. No. No, 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 no. Could you choose your move, please? You don't have a special wall anymore. You have nothing to resist my Gudra. You sacked off your two steel types. On that incoming Shadow Ball, you should have just sent. You could. You could have either sacked off your T, sent in your full HP, the fucking Ladios. You could sack off your Slowbro, as seeing as you don't need it. Oh, but now you do it. This regenerator and stuff. I can just go for Dragon Pulses, there's nothing this thing can do to me. I go for Skull, hoping for the burns, fish for the burns. And he's probably gonna switch out now, because we're generating. And he's gonna go into Landorus, that's sacking that thing off. Gudra's here clutch. Gudra's clutch right here, because he has Psychic types left everywhere. Psychic, Psychic, Psychic. And so he sends back in his Alakazam, you know this thing is not Chose Scarf, right? Psychic ain't doing shit. Bam! Look at the damage. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. It's like, nope, no, nope. no, nope, crit, crit. And I told you, I told you, Gudra is too OP. <sighs> oh, slow, bro, just do your damn thing. Just do your thing. I couldn't care. If you want to go for Skull, T with me. Alright, fine, you want to T with me. Um. Oh, shit, you are faster now. Oh, a crit, a crit. That's all I needed. All I need now is I need to get a safe switch in. And I can go for the young shadow ball. No, he forfeits. As you see, this team is very, very good and it has a great core uh, for walls like uh, with Sylveon, uh, Gudra, and Gliscor. Gudra Gliscor main core with the weakness of ice where uh, Magnuson supports. Uh, and if you guys enjoyed this um, team build around my mascot Gengar, Gengar is the high special attacker here together with Sylveon and then for the special walls we break them with Lopini. So if you guys enjoyed this team, make sure to leave a like and leave a like.
it is appreciated a lot and if you have enjoyed this content then you can also head over to my channel as I mostly do LPs and Wi-Fi battles uh, Twitter link will also be down in the description for reasons and last but not least comment down below a Pokemon you want me to cover and I'll build a team around it and have a showdown battle but until next time Peace out, Grunts.